Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Technique Talk Tuesday. Well, just like some of you, I had a very busy weekend and I'm way behind on some things I need to be doing. So I'm filming this late at night to get ready for Technique Talk Tuesday and I'm tired. Now I know some of you are singing some crazy stuff these days and you're getting tired as well, not only in your personal life but in your voice. And so the best way to really focus on staying healthy is, is to think of everything as singing from your mix. So that, that if you do have to sing from nine o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night, you know that it's still there for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to listen to some of these exercises and see if you can help find an easier way of being with your voice so that you can access your mix at all times. So I'd like each of you to have a phrase that you can check in on so you know whether or not you're in the right spot. So I use a passage from Not While I'm Around from Sweeney Todd where he does but in time but up in that scary zone C, G, A flat for guys. <clears throat> so I'm doing but in time nothing's gonna harm you. If I can have that sort of lighter speaking voice up there, I know I'm in the right spot, even if it's 9.30 at night here. So how do you find that? It's certainly not bringing your chest voice up, and it's also not flipping into your falsetto, like doing a but in time, nothing's gonna harm you. It's kind of having something like a lighter, younger speaking voice up high and really anchoring your soft palate almost into your brain. A couple ways to find it are first, finding your who to your head voice with doing some owls. So I usually have people do a who, 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 who. Kind of like you're a sexy owlette opening for the Supremes. It really does help find the right larynx position and the thin vocal folds and the lack of twang that you need to access some of these mixier sounds. So once you do that as a little warm up, then you can go and do some lip trills to find out where to put your larynx and how light you need to be in that weird um, second passaggio for the guys. So the girls can look towards some of Jen's videos for accessing their mix. I'm gonna focus mainly on guys today. So if I'm doing some lip trills, you're gonna start like the E flat below a guy's middle C, and then slide up all the way to the E flat above a guy's high C, doing lip trills. Do that once, just up and down. Now you're gonna stop halfway down. So you're gonna go up three octaves to the E flat, come down just one octave below there. Listen. From there, you're gonna go up to the G, and then come down to the G. Still on lip trail, listen. So if you're doing that on a, on a vowel, you're gonna do that right when you come down to that E flat. So lip trills up and down, land on the E flat, switch to like an ah, and then go up and down to the G. Kind of that lighter speaking voice. It's kind of like if you were kind of either 12 years old or a preschool teacher. Something in between those sounds for a guy. So you're not bringing your talky man voice up. You're not flipping. You're kind of crying into the sound. So once you find that, you can use that as the way to find how to negotiate that E, F, F sharp, G, the passaggio up there, and what to do when you are singing in that lighter quality that you don't want to cheat at. So hopefully this helps you stay nice and healthy when you're exhausted like me and you can't even think straight. <laughs> so I hope you have a good week and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. In the interim, if you have any men in your life that need to mix a little more, uh, share this video with them and help save their life. Thanks guys. <laughs>